Good morning, Rugby Avenue. As you may have seen, we're having uh, some technical difficulties this morning. It looks like Zoom is down. Um, something was posted just uh, this morning that said uh, it was down for thousands of users. So what we're going to try to do is record our parts, and that way you can listen to them later. Uh, I wanted to, as my part, I wanted to go through the announcements for you this morning. Uh, one of the positive announcements we want to let you know is that Lorraine Barnes is back home. She's out of the hospital. Uh, so that was, uh, you know, very glad that she's out of the hospital and she can be back home in familiar surroundings. Uh, we also have Dan Smith, who's going to be uh, going in for surgery on Tuesday and getting a, a screw taken out of his ankle. Uh, so we know that continues to be in the positive direction that um, he's starting and continuing to heal. So we're uh, glad for that, but keep him in your prayers um, as he goes in for surgery. Uh, one of the things that we hope to do in the next couple weeks is we're going to be adding someone else into our uh, our Zoom meetings. Hopefully they'll go a little smoother than this one did and everything will work out with Zoom. Um, but you, typically you have Doug or I doing announcements, uh, Tim doing the sermon, and Clark doing the communion. Uh, what we hope to do is to actually include some of the children from our congregation. And after I do announcements, they're just going to... Um, potentially read a, a passage from the Bible or just do a memory verse. Um, it's an opportunity for them to participate and also to do something encouraging for the congregation. Um, it's wonderful. You know, I, I love seeing the kids doing things. Uh, this was a suggestion that someone had, and I think it's a wonderful suggestion uh, that we hope to incorporate in the next few weeks. So we already have some volunteers uh, ready to do this, uh, so hopefully next week we'll have someone new also in the, uh, in the mix um, just to encourage us a little more. Uh, you know that we are now in phase one this Friday that happened, so that's a good thing. Uh, I went out on Friday and I uh, was driving around, <clears throat> had an errand to run, and I drove by and saw these lines um, six feet apart, but these lines that were out at the restaurants, people getting ready to, to eat out, um, and, you know, they had outdoor seating, which was spaced out. And I asked my wife what she thought of that, and she said, you know, I want to wait a little while. I want to still be cautious because, you know, everybody maybe is rushing out. And we want to see what happens with that. Uh, so, and we kind of have that same caution with the congregation as well. We want to wait and see, give it a little bit of time. Um, we definitely want to get back together, but I think it's going to be a couple more weeks before we do get back to back together. Obviously, we could have gotten together this morning, um, but we want to give that a little bit of time and see how things are playing out. Uh, it also gives us uh, more time to make sure that we have everything in order. Um, we have all the supplies we need, cleaning supplies, masks. Um, all those things that, you know, we kind of have a checklist of what we're trying to get together and make sure we have for when we get back together. So we hope later this week to get out a document, kind of, you know, what to expect in our first Sundays back. And I'll also have a date in there of when we're going to be getting back together and have that to you uh, so you can read that. Uh, if you look in the announces or in the uh, bulletin, um, one of the things that Sue highlighted was that we were looking for volunteers for a cleaning crew. So one of the things we'll be doing is making sure that there's um, cleaning that's occurring before um, and after uh, each services. Um, so if you're interested in doing that, please let Andy know. And of course, I'll also note that um, there's also a note in there about uh, grass cutting. So grass doesn't care about COVID. Uh, it's got sunshine and rain and doing wonderful. So if you have an opportunity to come cut some grass, please let Andy know about that as well. I hope everyone is doing wonderful this morning. Um, I look forward to seeing everyone when we get back together, and thank you.